welcome back <clears throat> so in this video we are going to take a look at uh, cloud formation cloud formation is a step further than beanstalk <clears throat> beanstalk was the last video where we saw how uh, if you have no idea what aws is you can simply put uh, upload your code and it will uh, deploy the environment for you the cloud formation is the reverse of it you actually code your environment and you tell aws what you need and it will go and actually uh, deploy that for example uh, you tell it that uh, hey i want uh, for it for like there are different templates for mail um, uh, microsoft exchange sql so whatever you need is you can deploy that so let's go and see i just uh, i was in my ec2 there there is nothing you can see so that means that everything with the uh, beanstalk it's gone and uh, we will see the cloud formation placing new ec2 there so let's go and check that out let's i'm gonna go services and we're gonna find cloud formation cloud formation so it's definitely not under compute all oh, right there management and governance cloud formation so it's stack so yeah the cloud formation is stacked because it's stacking different uh, services together to create that environment so we're going to click on create stack and we're going to use a template so the template is ready or you can use a template what is under template is ready oh so you if you have the url you can put place it in here maybe it's a third party or your own uh, if and notice that it's in s3 buckets these templates are from the bucket we have a list of uh, all the templates available like active directory uh, feature and rules wordpress block i'm, I'm gonna go with wordpress block uh, so we're gonna ask next so stack name again i'm gonna call it wordpress blog cf cloud formation oh no wordpress cloud formation so we will actually see that hey it's not something from the previous one it's new one so it says wordpress db we're gonna call it wordpress cf let's call it cf for the db password let's go same thing uh, wordpress cf probably wordpress cf hopefully the less db user word cf so it's going to be it's telling to t2 small is enough let's go with the micro then and for the key name there is no ec2 k pair it's uh it should be but uh, no value that's strange anyways and for ssh location it's everything uh for the word let me see for the small there was a key pair available no let's go with micro let's click on next wordpress cloud formation number dash it must start with a letter stack name ah oh, maybe i put a space in there let's try again so for the key value it's tag if you want to you're not if you want to put uh, i am role or not for the stack policy let's see no policy Roll book and roll back configuration SNS topic like if you want simple notification service or not roll back on failure and all that so let's click on next the only thing I am not liking is that uh, I could not able to wasn't able to put my security key in their key name is you know in, it's not showing up here let me try one more time at it do uh, i'm gonna go with cancel so it stays create stack wordpress blog next let's copy this and just paste it 
small make it micro for the value okay I'm gonna create stack create in progress create in progress so it's creating right now I am gonna pause the video here and uh, once it's done we will check out the EC2 instance stat and what uh, security key to use to launch that so it's been maybe a couple of minutes so let's refresh it problem complete rollback in progress parameter evolution fail key name does not exist so you know it's unable to use the key and that's the problem there let's go check the one more time what's happening let's refresh it cloud formation create stack use template let's create multiple AZ for multiple AZ we're gonna go ahead Let's go WordPress DB. T2 small. We're going to go with micro key name, no value. So, key name is not showing up. And that's our reason because uh, it's unable to connect to that key. All right. So, I'm going to go and dig a little bit. Pause the video. So, I just found my problem. I actually accidentally went to the EC2 and I noticed key pair zero so actually there are not key pairs so I'm gonna create a new key pair I'm gonna name it third key let's uh, do it uh, yeah that's fine save file let's start ppk so now it's saved let's go and try that uh, cloud formation one more time we're gonna create a new stack let me first delete this one delete stack deletion in progress we're gonna create with new resources use a template we're gonna use the WordPress blog do it as quickly as possible WordPress cloud formation zero one or zero two if we want to i'm gonna just copy paste everything here for this i'm gonna go with micro and now i have the third key if i create next i'm gonna leave it everything like this let's give me an estimate cost template if i go i can actually see the calculator draw but let me first hit create stack so my stack is being created i'm gonna wait for it while i go and check the server uh, estimate of your monthly bill like it's saying right now the my estimated monthly bill is set to be eight dollars fifty cent uh, that's uh, pretty good if it if it that's uh, what's gonna cost to uh, host this blog monthly bill so I have EC2 instant, Northern Virginia, and uh, Sport Basic, none. And in the EC2 instant is the database. No, database is not added yet. So this could be disputed. So let's go. Uh, refresh it. Resource creation initiated. Everything is good. Create complete. Uh, looking good and initiated i'm gonna pause the video here all right so it's been a couple of minutes let's refresh it again and i have the create complete everything is good let's go and uh, see what we have in terms of ec2 there is definitely going to be an ec2 instance running uh, that is this there is no name on it i let's click on it and see open address for, for the HTTPS if you don't know 
test page. Hmm, Apache. So So we have to config in the file. So we have to go to this address probably httpd let's see what's here if i go here nothing okay never mind and uh, next we are going to instance uh, database database is going to be under Hmm, database is right there. I don't have any database here. Is it using DynamoDB? Like, which database is it using if it's for the... We need to... Let's go to cloud formation. Create complete. We we know that there should be a database because we did uh, resources. Let's see what resources it has. Web server security. So we have a security group that is there, but the database we put in information for the database. We need to find that database. Mm. This is the web server. Yep, that's it. And for the security group, security group, let's check for in, uh, HTTP is open automatically. And is the database uh, actually on the EC2 instance itself? I'm gonna pause the video here now. So as a trial on video, I found this. If I click on EC2, try to connect to my EC2 instance, it's it's not connecting. If you can go to try to connect. And that is the very first error we got, and that was because of a lost key pair. So if I go back to instance, you can see it's used the third key but maybe third key is not in dot pem and it will only allow us to go through ssh so let's uh, find out that actually party <coughs> the ip address public ip address SSH authentication. I don't know. Let's see if I am able to connect. Yes. EC2 user. That's a good sign. Server refused our key. That's what happened. It's not taking that key. That is why. That key is no longer good. That's why it didn't do. Uh, so I'm going to scrap this video as a failed. I'm not going to use it as a video but uh, before we do that let's go and delete that uh, cloud formation where it is where it is services let's delete it stack actions terminate no delete while delete in progress uh, hopefully it will um, do something good I'm gonna create another uh, I know what's wrong so I will do that uh, for right now let's grab this video wrap this up here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one